All right, we're back here at the shop, and uh, it's been about a week since the AA auto show, and I'm just getting around to unloading the trailer. Uh, we had a flood of customers who've been waiting to get their bikes in and get their projects started, but uh, we had a lot of winter projects, um, the time capsule, AMS oil build, doing my bagger, and several other jobs have been here. So now that the slate's cleaned with that, we're uh, just starting to get the bikes out of the trailer and then focus on some other builds coming up. So quick mention back to the electric bike we did. We had at the auto show. It was a really good unveiling. Um, a lot of interest. I'm getting a lot of feedback from people online and customers from around the country and some electrical manufacturers with their components looking to sponsor us and looking to see how much farther we can go with this project. Uh, but one thing I did learn is watch out who you team up with, per se, or who supplies your parts. Um, like I said, on this bike, was I was inspired to build the bike from a customer who came with some project but with some electrical components and didn't really know what he was doing. Well, I really found out he really didn't know what he was doing. We got unmatched battery cells in here. We have a controller that's completely not hooked up properly. Um, and uh, I just, you know, after the show, I did all the building, all the stating and everything in there. And the final connections uh, were done, but it wasn't completely hooked up. Um, now I contacted the factory who manufactured the parts, got the proper information that we need. So now I can load the controller properly, get it, replacing one of the batteries so we can get even battery cells in here. Um, we're uh, looking into a BMS, a new charger. You know, here at Tricked Out Cycles, we, we don't just slap some things together. It's not DIY in your garage and see what happens and who cares. We do a lot of R&D and research and we are educated and we are mechanics that know this. We're not just figuring it out on the fly by watching videos online. And not to say you can't learn a lot online, but there's a lot of people that shouldn't have wrenches in their hands either. So we'll just leave it at that. Um, that's why we're mechanics here. You know, I was tearing stuff apart at nine, fixing it and doing all kinds of stuff. So um, let's let the people keep practicing at home, leave it to the professionals when it comes to stuff that really matters. You know, but for all you guys that want to tinker at home and see what you can come up with, that's great. Don't try to step out of your lane and act like you know what you're doing when you really don't. So let's get back to all some cool things that we do here at Tricked Out. So one of the projects that was sitting on hold is a Honda VTX. And uh, what we're gonna do is a customer brought us the VTX in and bolt load and bolt load of parts that his bike was sitting at a shop for over a year and never got touched. So we pulled the bike out back and uh, we've got the VTX over here. Now this is coming straight from another shop who took him a year to put rake triple trees on the bike. That's what the customer says. Um, you know, we also noticed the bike got the wheel on backwards. So first we're gonna start by taking the tire off, flipping the wheel around, getting this on backwards. I mean, they got like handlebar condoms on there. They got a front tire condom, which I really don't even understand here. Um, trying to protect the components, but everything that's on the bike is gonna be coming off and be refinished and repowder coated. So I don't know what their concept was, uh, mocking it up, but so we got our Tech JT, he's gonna pull this wheel off, he's gonna flip it apart, and then we're gonna lay out all the components. And it's pretty amazing how many parts this guy's got because there's some good quality stuff and there's some trash. Just before we lay it all out here, he's gonna do the wheel, but let's take a walk in the back. We just started pulling this stuff out. You're not gonna believe the amount of boxes that uh, we got here for one build. Like, here's an aftermarket bat wing. All right, we also got a 26 inch fiberglass front fender and I'm not really a fan of using fiberglass front fenders when they get over 26 inches, depending on the manufacturers. This is real flimsy. When this turns back and forth, it's gonna rub the tire. I just never had any luck with these uh, fiberglass fenders. Obviously some eBay part, God knows where, internet he found it. It's not from this manufacturer. Some random bolts, no spacers, so that's interesting. Let's get back at that. So we got some aftermarket bags with lids. We got an aftermarket fender. And then we got Harley Davidson lower speaker pods uh, that aren't made for the bike. The windshield, uh, <laughs> uh, spaghetti. <laughs> Don't know what. Ain't none of this shit going on the bike. I don't know, maybe they pulled this off, but I wouldn't even waste my time trying to decipher through this junk. Uh, okay, we do have uh, some type of an 
air ride kit. Don't know who made this, what brand this is. Back, backyard air suspension, never heard of them. All right, so we're gonna have to figure out that, put that on, we also got speakers, this factory fender. Oh, and we got more boxes over here, which this is what we're gonna lay out today. We got some LED light strips. And he's got some really, really poor quality fiberglass extensions that we're going to have to mold and make good. They're not made to fit that, but we're going to make it work. Um, I don't even know what this stuff is. <laughs> some kind of rack. Uh, it looks like a, maybe a sissy bar or something. I don't even know. What we're gonna do. That's what part we're going to do is open up all this crap. Wow. These are bolt-on gas tank extensions. They don't make any worse quality than this. Oh, I'm sorry, they do. Hold on. I got one other part off this guy's bike. They do make worse than this. So check that out. That's, that's his gas tank extensions. But even better, he does have extended bags. But then he gave him, sent us these extensions for the extensions, which I don't even understand. But look at that quality, folks. Huh? Wow. You want to piss off your body guy? Bring him some crap like this to work with. So, I'll be damned if I'm gonna use these things, but he sent them, so. And I already told him they were trash, and uh, I don't even know where he got them, so. He got extended bags. He wants extended to the extended bags? I mean, I, I don't even understand that. So, we're gonna mock it up with the extended bags that he has that don't fit the bike. We're gonna make all this stuff fit. We're gonna let you watch the whole process as we assemble this bike, get it into our paint department, and so forth and so on. So. That's one project we have sitting here that we are gonna jump right on, put a lot of energy behind it and get this thing knocked out. Um, hopefully I get the uh, parts in for the EV bike and I can go to the next step of testing. The weather's really not doing us any favors. It was 50, now it's like 20 degrees. We have to shoot a couple videos. Uh, we wanna do a video with the Demon bike. Plus we got another Road King. Um, no, it's Road Glide, isn't it? Uh, with the Trash Turbo system on there. We want to take them both out, ride them, do a real nice video together on them. Uh, we're going to be selling the Road Glide, which we're going to do a whole video and ride and walk around and show you that. So if anybody's looking for a really nice Road Glide, 26 inch air ride front and, rear, front and rear, trash turbo with an intercooler, um, very nice bike going for very cheap. So if you want a bike for bike week for the season that is ready to go, that'll probably be the next video or the next time the weather breaks, we'll get out and ride it and you'll be able to see that. So. Back to the drawing board here, tricked out cycles. Uh, we got a lot of bikes to build. Like I said, that's just one of the project bikes. There's several other jobs going on here. Uh, the weather's starting to break, so we're getting our, our regular customers and our riders that need to service inspections, oil changes. We like to keep our fleet of riders and everybody safe. We also have a lot of people looking for new bikes, so we have a handful of new bikes that are great for beginner riders. Uh, we want to see everybody have a great riding season, a safe riding season, and we're here to help in any way we can. So. Um, if you got any questions or comments, go ahead and shoot them at us. Um, make sure you watch this whole video. This is going to be a VTX uh, bagger build, a Honda VTX. Um, I, is that thing a two th is that thing a thirteen or eighteen hundred? I'm not even sure. I have to look at the paperwork. Either way, they're similar platforms, the bigger CC engines. So um, yeah, we're going to get started on this and hopefully enjoy it and uh, see what we got next. So make sure you hit the like, subscribe.